So now we've completed the uh, exam of the abdomen. We're going to move a little bit further down. I'm going to palpate for the arteries in your groin area and also check for lymph nodes down there. Again, it's important for the students to make sure that they pay attention to the patient's modesty for this. What I'm going to do is sort of uh, bunch up your gown here, Nancy, between your legs. So I just expose the area that I'm interested in. I'm going to palpate for your femoral pulse. Good. I'm going to also then feel for the lymph nodes in this area. And I don't feel any abnormal lymph nodes. Come over to this side here, too. Same thing, kind of bunch up your, your gown here. And there's your femoral artery. It feels normal. The palpate for swollen glands. Both the horizontal group and then the vertical group. And I don't feel any swollen glands. I want to next listen to the uh, femoral artery, too, with my stethoscope. Let me identify it again here first. Okay, and then the same thing on the other side. Good. And I don't hear any abnormal blood sounds from the femoral artery. Now we're going to move to the lower extremity examination. And the first thing that I want to do at this point uh, is to um, look for edema in the lower extremity. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to take my thumbs and press somewhat firmly against your shin, Nancy. I don't mean to hurt you. Uh, what I'm trying to do is to see if there's any fluid that's collected in your leg that um, and it always collects in the most dependent position. And sometimes the doctor, if there is fluid, they can uh, actually see it in indentation. But it's always good also just to run your fingers over an area where you press to see if you can feel it, but you don't see it yet. And I don't detect any... Um, fluid in your, in your legs. I'm going to next check for the pedal pulses. The posterior tibs are just behind uh, the medial malleoli. And those are normal. I'm going to check for the dorsalis pedis pulses too. Can you lift up this toe? Okay, relax now. The dorsalis is usually just lateral to that tendon. And that's normal. Okay, relax your toe now. Good, and that pulse is normal too. Now I'm going to check the range of motion in your lower extremity. So again, I'm going to uh, pay attention to the gown and gown here and collect some of it in, in between your legs. What I'm first going to do, Nancy, is uh, use your right leg. Just let me kind of be the one to um, adjust position. I'm going to flex the knee here. Good. And then flex at the, the hip. Good. And same thing with the foot. Okay. Come around the other side here and do the same thing. Let me do the work again. So flex your knee and flex at the hip and then the foot too. Good. Okay, and that all appears that your range of motion is normal too. At this point, Nancy, you can go ahead and sit up. Next thing I'm going to do is check the strength in your lower extremities. And so actually, let me just raise the gown up just above your knees here. Okay. Can you push down on your feet like you're pushing on the gas? Good. Lift your toes up towards the ceiling. Hold them up real strong. Good. Pull your legs in towards the exam table. Good. Push out against my hands. Good. And now can you lift up on this thigh? Good. Now this thigh. Good. So the strength in the lower extremities appears normal too. Now I'm going to check a sensation in all four of your extremities, the arms and the legs, okay? To do that, I'm going to again get a little wisp of cotton here but a cotton-tipped applicator would be fine, too. I'm going to do, Nancy, I'm going to touch different parts of your arms and your legs, and each time I touch, I want you to say yes. All right. So can you cross your hands here? Would you like my eyes closed? Yes. Please close your eyes. Yes. 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 Okay, now I'm going to move to your legs here. Yes. Yes. Of course, obviously, yes. it's important to make sure you have yes. enough of a wisp of cotton that the patient yes. can detect that, too. Yes. 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 Good. Okay, so that sensation is intact. Next, I'm going to check for uh, the sensation of sharp. And to do that, I'm going to get a cotton-tipped applicator. And I snapped it in two, so I got a little bit of a sharp edge here. And the mm -hmm. same thing, I'm going to touch your arms and ask you to say yes each time I touch okay. you. Can you close your eyes? Yes. 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 Okay, same thing on your legs. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes. 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 Good. So your sensation of sharp is normal in all your extremities too. Next we're going to check position sense. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do, Nancy, I'm going to hold your finger. I'm just going to move it either up or down. I want you to tell me which way I'm moving it. So close your eyes. Down. Down. Up. Good. Same thing on this side. Up. Down. Down. Okay, now your great toe here. Up, down, down. The other side. Up, down, down. Good. And that's normal. Now I'm going to check your vibration sense in all four extremities mm -hmm. here too. What I'm going to do is set this tuning fork into vibration and touch one of your knuckles. Um, with your eyes closed, I want you to tell me when you feel it, the vibration go away. Okay. Okay. So close your eyes. You yes. feel that? Mm hmm can you tell me when it goes away? No. Good. And I'm checking myself as a control against X. I can feel the vibration too. Do you feel that? Yes, I do. Tell me when it goes away. No. Good. Certainly the student could wait for this to go away by itself, but by kind of slowly dampening it, I can hasten the point to where the I know it's going to be fading quicker. Now down to your uh, foot. I'm going to do this on the by the first toe. Do you feel that? Yes, I do. Close your eyes and tell me when it goes away. No. Okay. Same thing on the other great toe. You feel that? Yes, I do. And tell me when it goes away. No. Okay. So all of that uh, vibration sense um, is normal too. Great. Good. So now we're going to move to the reflex examination. And of course there's reflexes in the arms as well as the legs. So the first reflex will be for the biceps. So if you could, I mean, yeah, could adjust your gown a little bit there for me. With your arms relax at the side. Got my finger on your biceps tendon. Good. Come over here. Look up. A lot of times when people are looking, they uh, contract their muscles. Okay, good. And I felt that contract. Relax your arm. Let it lay limp. Good. Go to the other side here. Good, there's a contraction there. I'm going to check your brachioradialis here too. Okay, you can just relax your arm. Good, and I felt that contraction. Lift the sheet up just a little bit. I'm going to check your knees here. Again, look across the room. Good. Okay, check your ankle reflex. I lifted your foot so it's parallel to the floor. Good, same thing here, relax. Good. I'm going to tickle the bottom of your toe, and it might be a little uncomfortable, but uh, I don't mean to hurt you. So look across the room. Okay. Okay, same thing here. Okay, and the toes are not up going. Relax your leg. Just want to flex it here once or twice. I'm checking for signs of clonus. I don't see that. That would be another abnormal neurologic finding. Good. So the next part of the exam we're going to check neurologically is the coordination, Nancy. All right. I ask you to do is to put your arms out at your sides. Straight out. Straight out. Close your eyes and one at a time touch your finger to your nose. Good. Okay, you can open your eyes and put your hands out like this and real rapidly tap your fingers. Each one? Each one, just like you're doing. Good. So again, the, there's normal rapid finger movement, so I know that that's uh, normal too. Next thing I want to do is to check your coordination in your legs. What I'll ask you to do is to take your heel, put it on this other knee, then go straight down your leg. Okay, the other side, same thing. Good. And that uh, coordination in the lower extremities uh, appears normal too. So I think we're done with the uh, parts of the exam on the exam table. So let me tie up your gown and back here, Nancy, because the next thing I'll ask you to do is uh, um, we're going to check some range of motion of your spine here. So why don't you go ahead and stand up on the floor. And we should come over to this side here. First thing I ask you to do is to check your range of motion of your spine. Can you lean forward to touch your toes? Good. So straighten up. I want you to do is to kind of bend backwards. Good. Okay. Now tilt from one side to the other. Okay. Good. Next thing we're going to test is what's called the Romberg sign. Put your feet together, and then look across the room. First of all, we're going to just check your st how stable you can be with your eyes open, and that's normal. Now close your eyes and try to stay straight up. Okay. Good. You can open your eyes. I always, as a physician, you want to be close to the patient at this point too, in case they are. Instead, you don't want them to fall. I'm going to ask you to, make a, to walk towards the door and then walk back, Nancy. Turn around and walk back towards the 
Then turn around and walk towards, then turn around and stop. So your gait's normal. The last thing I'll ask you to do is to walk tiptoe like you're walking you know, on a tightrope. One gonna, in front of one one in front the other. Yes, I'm going to be close to you just in case you're unsteady. Good. Okay, go ahead and turn around. And you can actually have a seat on the table. And let me go ahead and wash my hands since examination's over. Good. So you know, Nancy, your physical examination is all normal. Great. Your eyes, ears, nose, throat uh, were normal. When I listened to your lungs, I didn't hear any abnormal sounds. When I listened to your heart, I didn't hear any murmurs or abnormal sounds. Uh, and palpating your abdomen, there was no enlarged organs. There was no lumps in the breasts. There was no swollen glands in the neck, in the armpit or groin area. You got great pulses all the way down you know, to your arms and to your feet. Uh, and your neurologic exam was normal too. So it's always a good idea to, after you complete a neural exam to or complete physical exam to give the patient sort of a conclusion like that. Now certainly a student can do this exam much quicker because I took time to explain each step as I was going through uh, and you don't certainly need to do that um, when you actually do an examination on a patient. Um, so the only good way that a student can get better is to practice. So I certainly encourage you to, uh, to practice this exam and Nancy and I hope that this video is, will help you to do that. Thank you.